I heard someone say phrase that pays recently, and it fucking <laughs> broke me. I thought it was so funny. Hey, you never heard that before? What the fuck? What is that? Hell? That's my alarm to feed my fish. Oh my it's god! What kind of fish do you have? <laughs> and I take my baby killers and my baby killers jeans. No, Cormy, that's... <laughs> We didn't hear what you just said because that's that's one of those moments in like like a movie from like the seventies or the eighties where they would just pause for a really long time while everyone in the theater laughed. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's well, what we not needed just right to there. Feed, it's not just to feed my fish; it's to also take you know for the things that make babies go away. Birth control. It's called birth control. Someone, uh, someone very helpfully chimed in to say, "Hey, youtubecom slash funny money isn't taken yet." Oh wait, we gotta we gotta nail that down. I'm surprised that hasn't been taken yet. Is, wait, is the YouTube stream moving? No, it's paused right now. Well, you should see like a little loading thing flickering around. Yeah, but you okay. should still be on twitchtv slash button. Because no, that's... we're not I'm doing a simula it. stream. We're not I'm, doing I'm it. Close it. Bye. Oh, um, yeah. someone says my real, an... my real my real YouTube my real YouTube name is on there. I don't want people knowing that. Um, you guys. I want to see if I can steal this boat. Hey, Kyle, give me a talk t- f- for me. Hey, I'm I'm talking. Okay, you sound okay. Um, Hello. Hey guys, Courtney, you sounded pretty good too. Um, someone says very quiet echo. I don't know what that is about. They might be okay, here. You here. sound okay. Oh, that's like um, that's like when you hear something and then you hear the sound again right after. What like a re but like a playlist on repeat? It's yeah, but it's way faster than that. It's like it's. That it it happens and then it's it happens again. Okay, so like a okay, really short playlist on repeat, like that really we short just... some forty one song on repeat. Yeah. Okay, okay, you guys, we don't have to worry about it. Guys, I just stole like some kind of merchant boat. Oh my it's god, like... Kyle, you can't oh my... play. Kyle, you're so it's hurt. Kyle, there's you're, like you're hurting there's me. greens you're of hurting some me. kind. Maybe you're that, that might be me. some mangoes in there Kyle? and i just that got on this guy's boat and i was just like fuck your why boat you man me? why are you doing this to me i just need you to do something for me kyle Guys, and, Courtney. I just... and are you making a local recording are you doing that for me no i j- i couldn't what the fuck yeah what? what the fuck i don't know guys i'm just trying to play this game harvester Hot kyle kyle that's your name kyle, you have sorry, to be watching this game Guys, I'm just trying to explore you. Kyle, Kyle, oh why God. are you doing this to me? All right, okay, fine. I'll this switch over to only... your. Okay, guys, this is the only way you pay me, and I mean, like, I'm getting a lot of money doing my Etsy. I don't have to make dumb drawings because okay. you know I hate the color. Well, two two things, two things, and I and please let me finish saying both things okay. before you interject. Uh, yes. First thing, Courtney, we <laughs> fucking made you, and we can destroy you and go to. <laughs> This is some white devil talk. I knew this is how the white man talks. <laughs> yeah, <in the> second, <laughs> every, everything you have is because of us. <laughs> and, uh, I knew this is how the real white people think. The second Can't let thing the black is, woman have nothing. The second thing is, I'll agree to move over to your harvester, your inferior harvester stream, mm-hmm. but only if you agree to let me edit this video so that at the beginning I can... In, I can cut back and forth between our two streams. Okay, you can do that. Yes, yeah. The vid- in the, yeah the okay. You can do that. But you have to stop playing the game. Well, but now I'm a bird, though. You No, but you have to stop playing your game. You have to w- play the game that we're playing. Uh, see, this is why, this is why no, I didn't want to be the one that streamed the game. Kyle cannot no. handle not being the one playing the game. Here's yeah, the play where he will play a different game. In the this middle of us trying to play a game. Ends. Keith, I just le- first of all, I just leveled up. And second of all, that's Kyle, not fair. I haven't done that in years. You're Literally. It's because I haven't streamed a game in years. Like, if I'm streaming the video game, you're not on the stream. That's... What? Yeah, think about it. Think, what was the last time that I played a game and streamed it, and you were on the call just watching? We'd, I think, uh, think about it. I think mean, I don't know how recent it was. 
Yeah, it was but like a hundred years ago. Uh, Keith. Yeah. Um, I think you're being a little unfair to me right now. I've basically I soft banned. No, you from we're not streaming with me when I'm playing the game. Kyle, wow, that's rough. You're a tyrant. You yeah, you're a tyrant. Wait. Yeah. Listen, I, you were you were like forty five minutes late, my dude, and you didn't answer any calls or texts. I like, told you yeah, I was in also, the theater. Yeah, but th- I thought this was supposed to be Courtney Street, Courtney's list of Courtney, bad games. Courtney, 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 it's just a bit. Fucking relax. Oh my okay. god. I can't tell bits. I can't Kyle, tell sarcasm. You're so mean. You're abusive. Kyle, it's a fucking bit. <laughs> Stop saying that it's a bit. It's a bit. You can't say it's a bit in the bit. Listen, I think we're in, like, Bitception. I just want to play my good games. Okay. Kai, are you playing your game still? No. Okay. I haven't played a game while I was one of the people on the streams. Like, the last time I did that was when Phil used to stream on Stream Friends. That's how long it's been since I've done that. So, fuck you. That's, like, four years. Kyle, a penny saved is hardly worth the effort. Show tips Uh on or off. I think we might eat them on. Kyle, what do you think? Uh, this is an adventure game from the 90s. Do we need to? You tips? definitely know you need Guys, to. I, where's, where's the video? Where do it's I see? It's on Discord. All right, I'm watching the YouTube stream. I'm, don't watch I got to turn watch my it on Discord. stream on. It's okay. going to be delayed. I, it's going to be delayed oh, if you watch it. Okay. All right. I see it now. I got it. How do okay, I well, make this one? Double click. Bigger. Try double clicking. That's how you do. Did that work? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that does work. You know, double clicking was invented like a hundred years ago, right? It's the way you yeah. do anything on a computer is you click it twice. Oh man. oh man, Kyle's getting old. I know. I didn't. I'm watching. I feel like I'm watching my friends fall apart in front of me. <laughs> Courtney, well, Courtney, is, Courtney. Yes. What the fuck happened? What do you mean, what happened? Like, a minute ago, Keith was 45 minutes late and was see, a no-show. Uh, see, and see, we were, gotta, we were both against it Keith. It's because I'm charismatic and you're a bully. Keith, and you're no, bullying he, everyone. See, I, don't, I, don't, I, I, can't, I can't pick sides because I don't get to pick <laughs> the side that I want. And Keith is now doing what I want, so he's Courtney. the one I'm going to defend. Not you because you were playing Assassin's Creed. And I yeah, oh you're like ass Creed. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Keith, Sorry, how Kyle. is it possible that we've had 10 Assassin's Creed games and no one's thought of that before? I don't know. Probably because uh, Money Microsoft can <laughs> a post from anybody that says it. Oh, you're, you're, dollar t- sign, you're, you're talking dollar about M dollar sign? sign? I'm talking about damn dollar, M dollar. I didn't know how to say M dollar sign in a way that was fun. Uh, I'm saying M dollar sign, but the M is like the Monopoly money M. Okay, tips on. Use the left mouse button to move your character around the screen. If you're stuck in a puzzle, talk to other characters, and they will give you clues. Oh, you know what? If there's clues, then I don't need tips. Uh, Avoid cliches. Are you sure that we we want the clues and not the tips? Well, the tips, I think, are just how to play video games, and the clues are like... How to solve a puzzle. Every, I'm sure okay, like so tips off. Two out of the three tips that have tips appeared on the screen f- have been in-game like... currency and clues are the paid <laughs> currency. Oh. <laughs> That's the real... No. Clues are the real money currency and tips are in-game currency. No, I, I need to say this. There was Did the... A penny. Oh, my God. Kyle? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, there, there was, there was that first one that said a penny saved is hardly worth the effort, and this one says avoid cliches like the plague. So I'm saying, please, dear God, don't show me any more of these fucking tips because they're so bad. Oh, these are the tips. Yeah. Oh, these are the tips. Ammunition is yeah. precious, so don't waste. Okay. Yeah, we don't need oh. those. Yeah, I didn't realize that those were the tips. I thought that this was just like a fun intro. Look at my oh, guy. Here we have everybody's dad. I have a spread. Uh, no, a spri- he's oh, look a young at man. I could do. Look at my oh Mortal my Kombat God. moves. I have real Mortal Kombat moves in this. Oh, finish him, dog. What if I swipe up? Can I do an uppercut? No, j- this is the. I can do a high. You punch. need to get a. You need to. You need to crouch and then do a high uppercut, and then the guy says toasty. This is the new dance style, by the way. 
This is what everybody's Keith. doing Look, in the mosh pits. I love I love the background. I love I Yo. love the artwork in this. I love the the art in it. it Look at those windows. They you just love the art in this? The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the windows. It's like, I don't know. It's like a surreal background of like, I don't know. It's something about the right, art style. I will go look nice. at the windows. I mean, like they're a looking out watered... to the abyss of blue. Hold on. A recently watered plastic plant. And he's wow. got like a sun in the background. Man. And they're they're like... having fun. They're having fun with this. Oh, they're having a, they're, they're they're having having a, a lot of fun. They're having a blast. The mattress is speckled with odd stains. Get it? He's tugging rope. He's he's tugging it. <laughs> Get it? Uh, no. I, I mean, he's also wearing white socks with black shoes. So how can you see the socks? When he anytime when he, he animates, you can yeah, see the you socks. Can see him. Oh, I never an empty trash that. can so clean you could eat from it. Is everything in this game a joke? Is this a joke uh, game? Yeah. Yeah, that that no, what, it's a that's serious what game. Games used to be. It's a serious. Can you game. imagine I mean, that? Like this is the era that bred the people that think that PCs are the only way to play video games. Yeah. this is what they yeah. were wait, talking you, about. Wait, can you guys for a second look at the airplanes on the ceiling? That's not. I'm looking that's, at them right now. That's um. No, that's um. Those like are airplanes. Stucco. Oh, these. No. Oh, here. I thought you meant up here. Yeah, I didn't no, see no. those. A 146 scale P47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller. Nerd. Fucking nerd. A hastily glued P51 Mustang in exact 136 scale. Why do they gonna take a shot at this guy like that? Hastily glued. Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans hey, are hanging neatly in this the This guy closet. has really bad posture. Yeah. Dude, I think I think I think Garduder McGoober over here is hastily glued, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I think so too. Look at Tom. Look at Look at, this. Hank. Who, who this the, yeah, look at what fucking the Mike fuck? TV motherfucker over here. <laughs> I hate all of this so there's, much. There's oh shit, there's voice acting. Uh yeah. He, he went he went what is what he did. Oh no, I can't hear it. What and a lot think? of voice acting. Where am voice. I? Who am I? Sounds like a good one. Who am I? A lousy rat. And you better be uh, quiet or you'll wake dad yet. This kid is not only... This kid is not... First of all, we'll wake daddy wake up. Daddy. This is already exactly Resident Evil 7. But No, Keith, don't yeah. wake daddy. We've Tighten been up. practicing for this for years. Don't oh, wake yeah. him. I, I hope later on there's a hungry hippo because I know exactly what to do with him too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, by the way, this kid is not only a Mike TV lookalike; he also is a Mike TV soundalike. Great. And Let's see what, like what other people? thing we can say other things to this guy. Well, if I if I know anything about '90s okay. adventure games, say it's what? that no one can had ever know? thought had an original thought ever. Can you write dab dab on them? I mean, ah, I can dang. try. I don't think it'll work. Dab on them. Say what is like he that says one? he doesn't understand it. Hi. Say what? He doesn't even understand. Oh, Hi. Wanna... This kid's an idiot. I'm never gonna do that again. Uh, he's look at him. He's wearing like a cowboy suit in front of like a inch tall TV. Uh, he's not the brightest kid. I'm gonna call him daddy. Your dad is asleep. I I'm gonna give this game credit though. I really like the animation on the kids sitting on the floor because it has like the television glare that's flickering on it. It does look good. What that does it. An impressive like sprite. Know, I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday. People, uh, people in the chat are saying they want us to say "f you, mom" or "f you" to the mom in the kitchen. What are you talking about? What girl? What is there another one too? This isn't our, our mom, but we have to go to the kitchen. Cordy, I'm trying to hear the story. This is the setup oh. to this game, Cordy. Oh, I hope you know that we can't hear uh, any of the stuff because yeah, but all the it. words are on the screen. Uh, you gotta read it. I uh, hate people you? that don't read, except me. <laughs> <laughs> no That's one been a problem for me, um, reading. So basically, this guy's like, I woke up in this house, what's going on? And the kid was like, don't wake up my dad because you were cuddling with my mom on the couch, and I told him because you wouldn't pay me money to not tell that's, him. That's weird. That's what he said. And I'm like, girl? I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Oh, is this what we look like? God, this is the worst. What? Yeah, we really do look like. I can't see what the words look like, because it's all covered up with, like, the, the Discord mess in front of it. What's up with that? 
Keith, this I don't is know, why I got any Discord last... mess. What? Do you have any Discord mess? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't. That's what. Like, that's what Courtney you know, says. Like, she says I can't read it because like because I see mess. your screen. Your screen names are covering the Discord, like uh, the picture part. Dude, you gotta. Those. You know, you have to click on. You have to click on the full screen icon. Yeah, like, I did that. I double clicked. Oh, you mean full screen for real? Yeah. Um, yeah. But then I can't read the the words that the people are saying. Oh, that's just listen. That's what you're. That's that's a decision for Courtney to tackle. Okay. Yeah. I hate. I can only lead a horse to water. I thought I thought this uh, little icon for a thing was a a spaceship, and I was like, oh, it's king of the aliens, (laughs) but it's actually just a talking (laughs) mouth. It's like a flap of his fucking gums. Yeah. Yeah. Stephanie. I don't want to talk about her anymore. Steve Keith, this is why I this is why I had the last minute decision to ask you to play the game was because I know you're you're complaining like oh Kyle, Kyle's not going to pay attention if he's not the one playing the game. So the thing is, I knew from years ago when we did that like Dark Seed Two uh, marathon thing in the middle of the night. Oh my god! So this guy, I think this fucking guy went back in time. Think about it. I can't remember. Well, because this guy goes. About retro rockets? No, this... retro. It means. It means. Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. Talking happening. I can't picture the difference. Yeah, that's why there's words up there, Courtney. Uh-huh. Mm. Well, I just I wanted to say real quick with I, I I suddenly became concerned that I would dislike the game so much that I would become like I would find myself in the precarious situation of uh being actively hostile towards them but still needing to play them. Yeah. But you're now you're, you're just hostile. Anachron- you're, you're just hostile towards it, but to me trying to play it instead. Yeah, but I just felt like that would be a slightly less corrosive situation. So I think this guy he's like, why is that TV so old? And this kid's like, this TV's brand new, idiot. I think this guy went back in time. Have you noticed that your show was oh, in black and white? Dip. What else? Oh, no. So maybe the, maybe the guy cuddling with this kid's mom was actually... For, first of all, this fucking sprite down here is clearly like a t- man in his 20s dressed like a cowboy. I don't know. How can you tell with these, these blurry He looks so graphics. big. I don't know. Children can be big, right? Yeah, it's also probably a scale anyway. issue. Maybe yeah, maybe the guy that was cuddling with this kid's mom, maybe that was like our dad. You're not too bad. My you know dad what I'm saying? Is a oh god, I forgot to text my dad. I gotta make sure he's alive. Why would you Courtney, assume your Courtney, dad's, your dad's alive? fine? Uh that's what Courtney I'm, does. Yeah, well, yeah, that is true. I do. I do assume everyone I don't hear from is dead and I'm alone. Should I look at well, some I mean, stuff you in here? are alone, but yeah, that doesn't mean everyone else is dead. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know. Like, if I don't hear people enough, I'm worried that the rapture happened and then everyone died and I'm alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are we still in this room? I wanted to make sure there was no clues. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm out of here. Game's like, this whole fucking game's. I'm out of here like Steve Martin. Yeah. High voltage oh. power lines bathe Look. your home in a wholesome, old fashioned electromagnetic field. You feel they're humming in your dreams. Location, location, location. Hey, Jimmy James. <laughs> I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Oh, that grass looks uh, ugly. This fucking kid's not. voice is okay, very funny. <laughs> I can't hear it. How come we're outside says, and not... Hey, 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 Steve. It's me, Jimmy James. Hmm. That's how he sounds. Like a little Wait, stupid I'm, mouse. I have, a, I have a question. What? What? Why are we outside when we're not looking around our house for clues? Uh, this what? is the only place to go. The Get the frisbee off the roof. You have hey, to get the come, frisbee up there. How come one of those windows have bars on it? What's up with that? I don't know, Courtney. I've never played this game. You're the one that yeah, you know about Harvester. I never even heard of this game until an hour ago. Oh, Seriously? how did you not hear about this game? This is like a classic. Then how do you not know why there's bars in the this, windows? No, Courtney. Know. Fuck you. This is not a classic. Don't pull that shit. This is it's a the classic. most violent 
adventure game of all time. Why do you keep saying that? It said that on that's the not, that's page. That's all that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's asking you to go to the kitchen, please. Uh, P-L-Z. I, I feel like I'm having fun with Jimmy James. Okay, everyone, we're not going to the kitchen ever. Yeah, Screw the kitchen. We're, we're outside. We're free. How'd you expect the working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out. Okay, everyone is like dissing me so by saying this is a classic. Pay for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that. I just feel like Courtney. I feel like years ago, Courtney decided that uh, we were some kind of font of knowledge and that she would just ask us questions anytime she wondered anything about the universe and like it's yeah. still happening and she's just like here's a game that I told you to play what's happening? How do you play this game? Why are there bars on that window? Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could try. Hey, what check it out. The lips me? are the same size as the frisbee. You know, I know. I see it. Well, I found out they uh -huh. messing around with each other in the brew. That's room. actually, it's just like, you know, in Super Mario Brothers 1, the bush is the same sprite as the clouds. And in this one, they saved they saved storage space by making by the frisbee the, just the mouth. Yeah. The mouth, the flapping they just, gums. They, they took one frame of the mouth and they, they uh, went to MS Paint and they clicked on the paint bucket. And then they spilled orange on it. I think I have to steal some sneakers from this kid. On me, get it. You don't get the keys till I see the sneakers. Oh no, this and kid's too smart for me. I can't trick him into giving me the keys alligator. first. Call me out. Punch him. It's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go into the kitchen. I'll go into the kitchen. I didn't realize that this was a kitchen I could go into. I thought that's the door that I came out of. I just. I just fucking knew this was gonna be some Can fucking dark seed shit. Well, it was made by the same company, I think. Oh, really? Oh, really, Cardi? Great, thank you. <laughs> Thanks You're so welcome. much. You're welcome. I love Dark Seed. Yeah, the you, last, it's just the, you. you. The last experience was so painful. We didn't let you pick a game for another five years. And you finally get another shot, and you come in here with the, another game from the fucking Dark Seed people? This is, by the way, Courtney gave a list of five games, and this was number one. This is number well, no, one on the list. Other, no, no, no. I had other games. Wait, was it really number one on my list? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Moon is number I need one. To go, I need to go. I need to talk to... to Faust in here, who keeps asking us to like listen and pay attention. Your name if you've never had a conversation with Courtney while trying to play a game, you would understand the position that we're in. It is essentially yeah, impossible. Hey, there's a baby in there. Like when when the reason I spent so long trying to get it so that we could they could hear the game is because I knew that as soon as Courtney wasn't able to hear the dialogue, all that would happen is she would be talking over shit while I was trying to figure out what was going on. Like, and then I'm that's sorry, just what's Faust. happening. Keith, yeah. I'm sorry, but do you see the fucking baby in this kitchen right now? No. Oh, yeah, hey. There's a hidden, baby? the secret baby. A newborn baby. Can we get some cookies over there by the baby? baby? I'm going to try to talk. Caitlin says, but Keith, you're the one talking now. Fuck you. That's the stupid shit that you just said. <laughs> Faust is the same thing. She, but she isn't talking. Oh, yeah, you're right. Courtney has been talking nonstop this entire fucking time. You're, you're right. Because you guys uh, had me hidden for about a year since the last stream, uh, and I've been Courtney, ready. Courtney, I'm yes. sorry. I need to talk to Keith privately for a second. Can you put on some earmuffs? Okay. Just not listen. Earmuffs on. Okay. Uh, Keith, what do you, how do you think this is going? I feel like we should just hit the eject button on this. It's going like real bad. I'm trying to fucking play this game that Courtney asked yeah. me to play. And she just keeps going shit. like, is... what's the Whoa, what's the frisbee? What's the bars on the window? Who's I'm the trying mom? to talk okay. to Keith right now. Okay, I, wait, I, I, time out. I think we should go back to Skype because I can't hear shit. So that means if I can't hear well, shit. Well, you had that earmuffs on. That's why you could hear shit. Yeah. Oh, well, the I earmuffs. mean, like. I feel like we either need to drop the game or drop Courtney. No. The stream can't support both of them. This is unfair. Thing. We can't we can't just switch over to Skype because like Skype's all not set up because of that I use Discord now. So it's not like I can't just like load up Skype and it would work. First of all, that would never happen even if I wasn't yeah. using Discord. Yeah. But now that I have been using Discord, I have to reset everything up for Skype and it would take like a ton of time. Uh, yeah, Courtney, you just said, like, hey, let's go back to Skype, but we were never using Skype today, so it's not like we have any evidence 
to uh, suggest like that it's Stephanie. working right or anything. Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this anesthesia, she'll think. Okay, so I think I misinterpreted something that was happening. Stephanie wasn't the the mom isn't who I was like cuddling up with on the couch. It was I think our girlfriend that we don't remember, Stephanie, who is we are getting married to in two weeks. And so oh. the kid told the dad like. It's the 1950s, and they were holding hands, so you got to whip them with a belt. you got to belt them or something. Wet uh, fiance. I mean, I feel like we should, we should probably remember this girl pretty quick if we're going to get married in two weeks. Is that what this silliness is all about? For what? We're going to be married to her for all eternity. That's a good point. Fuck it. Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. Stop this foolishness. That's the thing my grandmother said a lot. Uh, wait, like, I have a caveat because people are like, stay with this game. I hope you people know we're not going to stick to a game. We're going to go through a whole list of games that I have that I want to play. Yeah, I only have two of those play. games. I don't have that I can, I can barely stick to this game right now. We definitely couldn't play this more than and once. And to be fair, the only person staying... Stick to the game is Faust, so. Yeah, Faust, you really love this game. Who's you, Faust? I don't know. Uh, I've never heard of they're them. On, they're, on, they're on the uh, YouTube chat. I can't see the YouTube chat because I was still on the Twitch chat. It's fucking roaring in that He's Twitch in room, though. I That's doubt really it. That's really the place to be. Anyway. Now, please, let me get back to my cookies. Uh, everyone, everyone really wants you to type the that word. You know how he gets. <laughs> All right, okay, just type, world just type the F word. Okay, I'll do I'll it. I'll do the game. fucking adventure game thing. Do it. Oh, oh I wanted you to actually mother. type the F word. Is that an invitation oh. <laughs> now that your father is out of action? Holy shit, that's gross. What did she did say? See I typed fuck, and then she yeah. said that's a horrible thing to say to your mother, or is that an invitation now that your father is out of action? Ew. Ew, Ew. Right? Ew. Let's see. Ew. Like, yeah, how about it? Kind of shocking. Right now, I have housework to do. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how She's like up for it. That's weird. You yeah, guys these are, games are, you guys are these weird. These games are so bad. The, the people this, who made these games were human monsters with no sense really of bad decency. People. They had no sense of decency and no sense of comedy. When I realize it, it, the signals got lost, when I say they have no sense of decency, I don't mean like, oh, there was a gross exchange with your mom about having sex with your mom. I mean, like, to make this game and put it out and let people experience it is like a lack <laughs> of decency. Rude. This was high. This was high concept. High, this was probably like yeah, the best is... four CDs that you could put on your computer <laughs> back in the 90s. <laughs> 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 I mean, it was I don't, no rib in the sequel to Mess. I'll tell you that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, honestly, this doesn't even look. Whoa! Look at this mail. Look at this mailman. Look at that sprite. That looks pretty good. Yes, yeah, this is probably like papers, right. This is probably like a, a yeah, but look like at this popular game now. over here. Okay, I'm this not, is probably I'm not really expensive. With, I'm not even going to deal with examine the woman. I'm not going to deal with that. Yes, I'm talk to the I guy. need some help, Mister Postmaster Boyle. <laughs> What can I do for you today? This guy sounds like some fucking Shining Time Station shit. Do you want to hear What's my impression that? of this guy? It's the... Yes. It's All the, aboard. Oh, this is uh, nice to see you today. And it's a thing... Nah, nah, nah. That's how he sounds. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. That, so he's a guy. He's old. Sorry, youngster, we're out of application. He's some fucking shiny time station motherfucker. He says things like, how are you today? And, oh, the weather that we're having. Well, he's like, he works in a post office. I don't know. That sounds like some fucking kid yeah, show some, shit. He's, he's one of the, There's no such thing as a mailman. It's only in kid shows there are mailmen. That's not true. There are mailmen in real life, but there's not postmasters. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, there's no such thing as postmasters. It's the thing that they made up for fucking uh, uh, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Oh. I don't even know what sure a postmaster post is supposed to be. There's they, no like, such thing as a the mail. You separate, separate the mail. No, we don't. Courtney. Yes. It's not Courtney. the effort, mm -hmm. It's Did you, I mean... 
Look, we must adhere to our standards. There are I know it sounds crazy when you just when you talk about the Illuminati, but like you realize they put a fucking pyramid with a with a lidless eye on the back of our money, right? I mean, like think about it. How do you know it's lidless? It's right there because it doesn't blink. Uh, yeah, because it's a picture. Yeah, have you ever seen it blink? That's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, I have you blink. ever seen it not blink? Young man, just wouldn't be right. Obviously, you are just not understanding. Will this guy want to fuck actually, me too? Mumble, son. Probably. You. No. I mean, look at those jeans and, and plaid shirt it. combo. Okay. Th three clocks, three times. That's I, fun. I, just what I'm trying to get at, though, is like, I'm not saying that the world is flat like it's literally flat. Like there's mountains and stuff and it's bent a little bit. But You're like it's not, a, <laughs> it's not a it's not a it's a not we're li we're living in the non-sphere world. Yeah. Listen, you saying. guys you guys are talking about Courtney 2.0. This is Courtney 3.0 now and I have Wait, what new... was 1.0? Wait, what's Courtney 1.0? Uh probably Courtney from the first stream. Uh but like, you know, I don't know how many streams I've been on, but whatever um, number of streams. Why is this guy how... inside the ground? <laughs> he has no Is that a guy? Girl Buster Monroe is inside of oh, the ground. Who goes there? Well, what uh, do you guys say? Tell me my name. Oh, is... wow, look at this guy. All right. This is Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That There's a lot of missiles. It is a missile base. Amnesiac, huh? Man, it's got the power lines and the missiles. Like, this whole thing's just a bummer. You see their ships every now and then. No, but for real, though, like, to, to, to this guy's talking about like, aliens now. To, to step out of, like, wantonly shitting on this game to be cruel, like, I feel like all, like, both this and Darkseed 1 just, like, paint such an unappealing picture of human existence that, like, I don't even want to be a part of it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I can see how you think that with Harvester, but with Darkseed, I think that was a really good artistic uh, story of something. You have, you know... Safeguards. Because then, like, just, the baby. Ev he, I mean, he maybe, I don't remember enough about Darkseed, but just this one, it's just, it just like everything everyone says is terrible or some like weird joke that's not even remotely funny. That's right. I like three clocks three times. Oh, crap. My nails are like all messed up. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They. Do you guys just want to fucking talk about the real shit? Oh uh, yeah, I have a whole because bunch of real shit. People think that World War One was like the end of the Age of Kings, but we still have kings. They just took off their crowns, turned them into portfolios. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Dude. Ha ha. Whoa. In charge of the nuclear missile. Who's laughing, Courtney? Okay, well, I'm so saying. I'm going to catch you guys up on the video game that I'm trying to play while you idiots talk about nothing. No. Okay. Oh, this guy with no legs mm -hmm. is in charge of what he claims are nuclear missiles that mm -hmm. he has the capacity to launch. Oh. So. Wait, is this North Korea? Yo, yo, real question. Are you question. talking to Kim Jong-un right now? Real I'm question. Talk to, what? Where's his, where's, where's. Like, is he just sitting on his, on his, like, He's butt sitting nubs? on his, his, yeah, ba yeah, I think that that's, so I think the sitting? implication what? is that he lost everything below his waist and is just sitting on, on his, his butt nubs. flesh, his butt nubs, yeah. Wait. But he has a belt. Wait, yeah, he wait. Like a... his legs in Dusseldorf. Mm. I don't even know where I am right now. Lower torso. Let's, well, let's Kyle. Let's. I'm yeah. gonna click lower torso, and then oh, you can yeah, read please. what he says. Please. Did you say before you came to harvest, your lower torso was shot off in the war. That's right. I was behind enemy lines. The night was dark. The rain wet. Plastic I was supposed to rig the bridge with. I carelessly sandwiched between my knees as I crawled in the muddy mud. I didn't see the Jerry taking aim at me with his machine gun until half of me was flying through the air with a quick spray Courtney. of bullets in a straight mm -hmm. it shot my body I'm not 
making fun of you. Yes. I can still hear him laughing as I start Boy. calling in the general direction of English. I'm just I'm not. Calling behind oh, me in broken yeah. English. Yeah, because I know because you're not you're not getting it. You're not woke. But have we here some legs? Hey, did they never lose some legs? I'll never forget looking back. Ooh, this is not long. Yeah, it's a fucking novella, this guy. Yeah, I know it's I your can. legs, but jeez. Jeez <laughs> Louise. Get an editor. Get <laughs> <laughs> back to safety. Now the Krauts are our friends and the commie bastards are our enemies. But even so, there's at least one crowd out there that I'll never invite over to Sunday dinner. Harvest is a fine town. Steeped in traditional American. It's hot in my basement, you guys. Bummer. Well, it makes I gotta go soon. Don't mind saying it. Ugh. We didn't even get to the other game, like Princess Maker. I we told you we, we're gonna. Oh. I told you to only pick one game. Well, when is it gonna be the next episode? Princess Maker. I know. When is it gonna happen, though? I don't know. Whenever. You read me. Also, wrong, we didn't get to my list of well, items that we need to talk about. What's what do we need to talk about? Uh, this whole list of and ideas. If it's, if it's about the lizard people, I already it's know. It's not about, about the it. lizard people. It's not about okay. the lizard people, you pleb. Thank you for pronouncing pleb correctly, even though it should be pronounced that way. How is it supposed to be pronounced? It's supposed to be pronounced pleb, but that's stupid because it should obviously should be. Should I bleep. tell this guy that there's no reason for him to not shoot me? No, you should be yes. shot. Yes. I yes. Appreciate your honesty. Oh. Comrade. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy <laughs> fucking killed me! And then he oh, no. oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> that escalated quickly. That went so fast. Was that the fu was that a mosque? Uh, no, I think it was a. It was in. He launched him to Russia, so I think it was like a Russian thing. Oh. Wow, this game was ahead of its time. Are you? That really looks like a mosque to me. So is that? Um, is that? I didn't save it all, so I think that's I it. I think we uh, yeah, just I beat think, Harvester. Yeah, that was that was the ending. True ending. Wait, now can you help me here? Because I feel like. I feel like the game was playing with this whimsical reality. And then all of a sudden, there was a fucking guy with nuclear missiles and no legs? What happened? Shooting us with an M16 yeah. that didn't what exist, I don't think. Look at the fucking <laughs> Grim Reaper guy that's on screen right now. Like, this whole thing, like... It is called Harvester. Okay, I well, Kyle, we Harvey. gotta go to the lodge, right? We're gonna go to I the make, lodge. I make fun of Doom a lot for just, like, saying, oh, it's just John Romero's high school notebook or something, but, like... Yeah. This really is just like a bunch of fucking just high school nerds with like the worst sense of humor and style of all time, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah basically. but that's like the art of it. So you're saying that the yeah, worst Courtney. possible thing of all time is the art of it? Courtney, no, I'm just saying like... Things can like, be bad without listen. it being elegantly bad. Oh. Courtney, you can't... You Listen, you can't... <laughs> Make the whole stream about the bit of like I'm gonna make Keith and Kyle play a terrible game, and then when we're like, "Hey, this game is terrible," it'd be like, "No, it's a masterpiece." Like, no, it's clearly not. That's why you wanted us to play no, it. No, I mean, like, I do think this game has some redeeming points. Is kind it? Of. Are you saying it? Are you saying this because you don't want to be mean to the game? No, I just think all bad games have some kind of redeeming points to them. Well, okay. Well, well what's sure. the point of Assassin's Creed Origins? Oh well, this is a this is weird. This is a weird place, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, quick, go through that Mario pipe. <laughs> uh, no, it's got an alarming green sludge that's oozing from it, so I don't <laughs> think that my character wants. Never mind. To. Um, the very ominous uh, music, by the way. Red eyes gleam with eerie malevolence from the darkness. See, eerie malevolence, you don't need both of those. How about, male how about malevolent eeriness? That would be better. 
I just feel, I feel like it's overkill. Eerie malevolent. Like, eeriness yeah. is like a sort of like, Male I don't know what kind of feeling I, it is, but it's creeping me out. And malevolent well, is very specifically mm. evil. No, but this I, you is know, telling you it's extra no, evil. E eerie, I think you unsold me on it. Un an uncertainty to it. Yeah, I don't think you can have something be both eerie and well, malevolent. Well, here's the thing, though, is I feel like there can be malevolence in, like, the eyes of anybody that you talk to. Yeah. But specifically right now, you're in some kind of monastic dungeon or something, so it's definitely eerie also, right? Mm. I don't know. I yeah. just I I just feel like I, I feel like it's like I feel like the two words are incompatible but also kind of mean the same thing. Maybe that I'm, wasn't the same in the eighties. Or not I don't, whenever I don't think the eerie and malevolence are incompatible, but I think they're not a perfect fit. I want to talk to this guy. I want to talk to Sar the sergeant at arms. What are you saying? This game was like so totally bad, or like I mean, like it could be cool. No. Did you? Oh. I'm sorry, Courtney. Did you say something. I did not speak. But my mind... Oh, guys. Oh, this guy's psychically t touching my mind. Nice. Only those who seek enlightenment or want my attention. To you. His head looks really tiny in the icon. You know, Guys, everybody's complaining about how creepy the lodge was in the town. And, <laughs> and I feel like they were being, like, suspicious and weird. And now that I'm here, I'm like, they weren't suspicious enough <laughs> of this place. <laughs> they were... <laughs> If anything, they were underplaying how weird it is. <laughs> like, because the front door guy uses telepathy on you. <laughs> that might right, be weird. I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, okay let's Courtney, talk shit about Kyle. Let's fucking, Don't talk let's shit. Fucking <laughs> shit. No, I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll wait till he's back to talk shit about him. I want him to hear it. Okay. Uh, do you want to play the game, or do you want to wait for Kyle? Uh, We can, like, wait a little bit. So you can hear just, what I'm, he has I'm concerned. To say. I'm concerned that when he said a couple minutes, it's because he's he trying to drop a deuce. He has to take a he's hell of a dump. To, he's he's trying to fucking take a tuzzy, and I don't mm -hmm. want to wait for him to be done with that. Well, how long do you think his dumps are gonna take? Um, they're not should short. I be, should I worry? Like they're not as they're not as short as mine. The world's shortest dumper. <laughs> 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 No one. Hey, I'll put up this challenge to the whole fucking internet right now. None of you can take a dump faster than me. Mm. Wow. Uh, I guess that's a race that we'll never find out. I hope to. Wasp woman. You think wasp woman can take a Tuesday faster than me? Uh, Daria says, well, what's Kyle's diet like? Well, it's October 29th, uh, so 100% candy. Uh, whatever children eat, because I mean, like when you're a parent, you can't eat adult food. You gotta eat kid food to, like, you know, save time. My parents eat adult food. Sorry, yeah. what I mean to say is, my parents ate adult food when I was a kid. Yeah, but what if his kids don't like adult food? Oh well, I bet that that's probably true. I don't know this for I don't know this for sure, but I know that mm. Lucas used to be very picky. So I assume that mm. he's still very picky and annoying. Oh, don't say that. All kids are terrible. But I mean, like, kids grow out of that. Not all kids. Yeah, Some I think people kids stay annoying from, uh, from uh, cradle to grave. Some kids annoying all the way. No. Yeah. No, well, you ever, you ever met an annoying adult? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, 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 death. I mean, just think about it this way. They mo a lot of them probably got annoying, but some of them were probably annoying the whole fucking way. Hmm. True, 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 yeah. maybe. Yeah. And but here's and here's a good thing, Courtney. Mm -hmm. Someone that's annoying to me might not be annoying to you, and vice versa. So mm. you know. It's not like a, it's not an indictment of their character, it's just, you know, incompatibility. And what if it is an indictment of their personality and they need to be eliminated? Do you think there's some people that need to be eliminated? Uh, maybe. Well, who is that? Who needs to be eliminated? 
Well, hey, how about you knock off one of the topics on your list that you have while we're waiting? Okay, well, one of the topic, my first topic, I think Kyle would like to hear it. Uh, okay, well, go to see. one that you think Kyle won't have as much to say about. Uh, hold on, let's see. Gender, draft letters, the divorce, and the gender, divorce, and the sexual people, and the divorce, and I don't know what that one was supposed to say. Hold on. Let's see. Humans are just the darkest dungeon. Uh, are we hold on? Uh, game I like this. I like this part where you're just mumbling through your list. Okay, wait, okay. I have one note that says Swiss and pineapple. What does I'm that thinking, mean? Because uh, one day I mixed pineapple with Swiss cheese and it was real good. What? No. That's in, that's impossible. Well, you should try it. I will try it. I'm not... I love cheese. I'm not the biggest fan of Swiss cheese. I think it's one of the lesser cheeses. Mm. Um, but I so think, I don't, it, I think I don't the pineapple... Normally... I think the pineapple and cheese would work if it's a hard cheese or, like, one of those type of white cheeses. Well, people put pineapple on pizza, and I don't hate that. Mm. I know that there's... I know that, uh arguing about Hawaiian pizza is a meme right now, but mm. I've always thought Hawaiian pizza was like, I don't know, sometimes it sucks if the pizza's bad, but like, when it's good, it's fine. I don't mind it. Uh, it's not my choice, but I'll eat it. Um, so that's like melty cheese and tomato sauce. So I, I can't that's totally good. knock like cheese and pineapple, but it just sounds mm. so weird. I like cheese with grapes is, I think, uh, is good. Cheese with apple is good. Yeah. But I don't know. Pineapple just seems like like such, such an overpowering flavor. Well, how did you accidentally have this? You said you accidentally had it. Uh, well, I must have had some Swiss, and I must have had some pineapple, and I put those two together. It's probably a day I didn't go grocery shopping. Yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like a non-grocery shopping day. I'll try it. Courtney, I'll try it, and the next time we have a stream, I'll let you know if it's any good. Okay. Um, and that'll be I the definitive answer. All right. Okay. All right, what else? Oh. You, what else you got? That's that was a uh, short one. Okay, let me go to the. See, I knew that he was fucking. I knew that he was. He was, deucing it. I knew it. Well, it's better. He said, to "Give me a minute." Him. It's been like eight minutes. Well, it's not like you can pee in one minute. I can pee in a minute. No uh, one. I set a challenge to the internet. None of you can pee faster than me. I don't think you'd want to pee that fast because you just blow out your pee hole and you just have like a big old loose pee hole. I'm gonna blow out shit. This is. I have a very strong urethra. <laughs> have you ever seen those videos of people shoving stuff down their urethra? Um, only very a small amount. I don't like watching that. Yeah, that's fucked up. People do it. People do do it. I mean, they. I mean, they don't. They don't think it's gross. Yeah, but I feel like that's so much more delicate. Like, I mean, like, it's not made for stuff to go in it. So why would you think... I mean, I guess you could put a Q-tip up there, but, I mean, like, it doesn't seem safe. It doesn't... You're right. I'm going to agree with you. It doesn't seem safe. I think that that... But I also... I think that the people that are doing it also know that it's not safe. No, the I Q-tip... I feel do. like the Q-tip would be dangerous because it would leave strands behind. Yeah, but they need to do that well, to see if out. they... Oh, I, yeah, I guess, like, or if they need to check to see if you got any diseases or put a catheter in it. Yeah, well, there's definitely medical reasons for it, but some people do it for fun. I, I guess, like, the only message is, like, hey, people, if you if you gotta do it, can you, you do it, do like, it. Can not you be so safe scary? about it? Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't do anything weird. Yo, you, well, you can do it weird if you want. I just won't watch, which I think is fair. But just, yeah. like, you know, be careful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because says I hate this. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I can't imagine why you hate this. Uh, let me see. Uh, social shaming. Okay, this is a good one. Okay. okay. I was thinking, I was explaining to one of my friends that we have a friend, but like uh, recently... This one sounds complicated. 
Okay, but okay. Well, the friend has recently started having weird racist, uh, racist speak. Like you know, they're dating a Nazi and stuff. And so we're wait, like, hold on. Hey, Are they actually dating a Nazi? They're just dating like a white guy who's like racist to black people and just saying you know okay. Trump memes and things. Yeah, and yeah. And so like, yeah. and so that friend goes, they're dating a racist. And so like they like I don't want to speak to them. And I was like, hey, we don't have to speak to them, but they're still our friend. Are you but guys seriously? I, still no, they're here? not your friend. Yeah, I was no, waiting no, no, for no, you. No, this listen, is some crazy so listen, shit. No, no, no. So listen to this. Listen to this. So I was okay. saying we need to socially shame that person to make the Mac better. And so that way, we socially shame them into breaking up with their Nazi boyfriend, and then they're all right again. Whoa. So, what no, the no, fuck no, are no. We talking Courtney, about right now? you have it backwards. This person was never, this person didn't just like accidentally start dating a Nazi. Yeah. They're just the sort of person that thinks Nazis is fine. And it yeah. just so happens that you happen to be friends with them, but mm-hmm. they were probably always like that. And I'm not yeah. saying they can't be fixed. Uh, but it's not that they slipped into accidentally being racist. It's just I think that, a lot like, of well, they, can they could be fixed. Racism. Right, yeah. I'm not saying your friend I is totally I, broken. I definitely think a lot of people can slip into it because they're dumb. And just humans are dumb in general. So we need to socially shame people into learning the right way to be right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I guess you can... I, I guess you should. You so should we need to ostracize and bully her until she Nazi changes. Nazi sympathizers. Well, well, I think uh, I think you have to determine on a case by case basis whether you should be just ignoring someone or ostracizing and shaming them or like beating them up. I think all of those are valid. Uh, but yeah, you, you really have to case. You can't just like you got to decide which one works best for your situation. Maybe someone needs to get hit. <laughs> No, 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 no. Hey, I'm maybe just saying, someone needs to be drawn and quartered. It all depends on your social I'm circle. I'm saying, like, yeah. I think this is like a thing they'll grow out of because, you know, they just start banging and, you know, like no. maybe they'll just grow out of it because they're young. No, no. Here's. I, no, I will, this is I exactly what. You, this is I exactly will, what. No, all right, sorry, go ahead. I, I'm just I guarantee you, there's there are people who would never just accidentally start dating a racist person and then become yeah. racist. This is a type of person that oh, you Oh, no, have... no, no. They haven't become racist. They're just dating a shitty, dumb person. And so we need to shame them and to stop dating this person. Okay, so yeah, your probably. your friend who's dating this person did not change their behavior at all? No, no, no. But they are still dating a racist. Yeah. A I racist mean, that's a so behavior racist. change of a kind. Yeah, well, but and this person is so racist that they only just started banging, and you already know that they're racist. Um, what do you mean? You said that they only just started banging, right? Yeah, they just started banging people. A lot of racists, like, a lot, a lot of racists go a really long time without anybody ever calling them out for being racist. No, no, no. So if you already person, no, know that they're racist. No, no, I'm just saying, like the person, the first person they banged was a racist. Why are you making so excuses for your shitty friend? Like you're making excuses for this shitty game. Oh, uh, dang! <laughs> dang! dang. Stop making excuses there for it you, is. Courtney. It's on the table, I'm Courtney. Just, it's on the table, now, Courtney. I'm just trying <laughs> it's been to laid out. I was just trying to give the the example that I think we need to shame people more. Yeah, and we're not disagreeing. With yeah, I don't disagree with that. But here's the thing. So, Kyle, you missed this part. What? Courtney's other friend, who's friends with this person that's dating the racist, uh-huh. said, like, oh, let's just stop talking to them. But I also think that that's also fine. Like, if this person finds that they lost all their friends because they started dating a Nazi, like, that's, a, that's, not, that's not doing nothing. That is something. And oh, that's no, also- I, I, agree. I agree with that. But I'm saying when they, when they get their mind back to the right way... I think we should be there for them. Is what again. I'm here's the thing. I yeah, our, sure. the, my my specific intention is that this person ever had their mind the right way. If there's I'm someone that will just agree. date a racist, that mm-hmm. that's just who they are. They're just someone that would do. They, I don't think they just became a racist dater by accident. You've got to make I a very good, like if you know that that this boyfriend is racist. I'm mm-hmm. sure that they also fucking figured it yeah, out. Yeah, like if it if it made its way down the game of telephone from like mm-hmm. this person, like from like this guy's girlfriend to the girlfriend's friend to the friend of the friend who's you within the time span of like however many 
like couple weeks they've been dating it, it must be their racism must be noteworthy right like yeah yeah, I guess so. I'm just saying I think it's more common in the South where white people are low-key that's... racist. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. what I'm saying. Your friend has always been low-key racist. Yeah. And okay, it's coming out by them dating this person. all white people. I'm sorry. I tried to be... I tried to think a different way. Going back to it, eliminate all the white well, people. Well, to be yeah, fair, no, yeah, to be fair right. your other way was to, el- to, to uh, bully and ostracize, where I think your words... Um, yes. But I'm not. I'm. I'm agreeing with you that you can bully and ostracize this person. You have mm-hmm. you tried saying, "Hey, your boyfriend's racist." Fuck, fucking cut it out. Have you tried doing? Yeah, that? I was gonna say yeah. like yeah, you can ignore them, haw. but and yeah, they have not So then, fuck this person. Just forget about them. Like, don't even waste your okay. time. Don't even waste okay, your time on them. They suck. Yeah, yeah. You should bring it to their attention. But like, other than that, just no. She said she already did, and they just hemmed and hawed. Yeah. So then, okay, your boyfriend's then I guess racist. We gotta- Show okay, they're the eliminated. Door. They're dead. They're dead to me. I'm sorry. Cool. And, unless yeah, they, unless they okay. break up with their boyfriend. Can I? I'm sorry. No. Can even I... then. Even then. Fuck them. They suck. <laughs> yeah. No. But they buy me presents. This is unfair. Courtney. Am I supposed to miss out on presents? Courtney, yeah, you there's... just yeah. That's the that's the thing. Yeah, you you can't have get their presents because they fucking oh. suck. Oh, that's man, we found the root of it. Sucks. We found we found the reason why yeah. Courtney's making excuses for this person because they yeah. buy Courtney stuff. <laughs> Yep. It's bribes. It's racist person bribes. You're this person's out. You know, when this person goes to their other to their white friends and says racist shit, and someone says like, "Wow, that's kind of racist," they get to be like, "Well, I know this girl Courtney, and she's black, and she's my friend, and I buy her gifts." Yeah, you're right. Damn it. I... <laughs> We're signing up for the lodge, yeah, by the way. Let, don't let that yeah, person be. <laughs> Don't let that person be able to say, like, hey, I have black friends. Yeah, fuck okay. them. Oh, I'm really going to miss presents. So if anyone wants to buy me a present. What? What pre- What like, were they getting you? Why were they getting you shit? missing from this person. Well, like, you know, on Christmas, I get extra Christmas presents from them. Like, what dolls. presents? Uh, like Barbie dolls. God. What? They're, why are they buying Barbie dolls? Because I like Barbie dolls and they like Barbie dolls, so we get what, each other presents. Right, what kind of what kind of Barbie dolls do you get? Okay, so we uh, have our we have a mission. I like to the do. Mitsu Barbies. I don't know. What well, is that so weird? People can't like dolls. Well, no, it's it it's not it's not that it's weird for the for someone to give you a Christmas present. I think it's just really weird to be so attached to this person's Christmas present. That you, yes. you, you're considering like ignoring the fact that they have some horribly racist boyfriend and is, or maybe racist themselves. I'm just, I don't, you know me. I just really love gifts. You can't write on that. In general, from anyone. I'm just a very materialistic person. It's not. But you don't have to be. I'm sorry. It's very. Imp- I know, but it's more fun to get items. But like, a Barbie doll is not that expensive, though, right? I mean, it's just... yeah, it's not. But I don't want to pay for it. Next time you. Your mom's rich. Just ask her for money. Yeah, but it's better to. Courtney, get is your mom rich? Like, why, uh, why are you guys telling all my fucking business? Check the fuck out. <laughs> I had no idea your mom was so rich, Courtney. Yeah, no, Courtney. Like, Courtney's Shut never the fuck had. Up, Kyle. Oh my god, be quiet. Is this why Courtney's what? relationship with her mom is so conflicted? Yes. What? Okay, wait, first of all, I thought we made a rule. No talking about my mom. She's the greatest woman in the whole wide world, and all of you are haters. And Courtney. Kyle, traitor, you met my mom. What the fuck? Hater, hateration. Yeah, I met I met her, and she was really nice, but that was like one half hour that she was a guest in my home when we had a newborn baby. And, but like all the other stuff that I've heard about her from you Wait, over like the eight years the that I've known that, you, almost ten years. But that was in the past. That was in the past, Kyle. Me and my mom are cool and friends now. Okay, that's well, fine. I mean, it doesn't make her that's not fun that you're rich. friends with like, your rich mom. Yeah, How yeah. Like I don't know why we said. Richness. Why did I say? Courtney's mom is rich, and like this was a red flag for you. Like, why are we stopping the show? I, think I don't want people to know that I'm rich. Why? I'm, a, I'm well, you're struggling. N- <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you just want people to feel worse for you. 
How dare you call me out on my scams? How dare you? <laughs> So basically, the idea is like Courtney is struggling, but if she ever loses the struggle, she just goes back to her mom's palace. <laughs> wow, it's a palace? No, I don't know. Shut, shut up! How many? Everyone, how shut. many? How many floors in your mom's house? Well, we only have one floor because mom doesn't like multi-floor houses. Okay. It's, well, how, it's, how, it's, how many square okay. feet? How many? Uh, how big is a property? An acre. An acre? More than an acre? More than an acre? Oh, you don't. You just so don't basically know. you have no idea. <laughs> basically, you don't know. <laughs> no, I know. I just don't want to tell you because y'all don't need to know my business. I'll tell you. I, I mean, listen. Courtney, my grandfather Courtney. is rich. I've met, I've said that before. Mm-hmm. Cor- Courtney, all you have ever done since I've known you is volunteer your business. Why suddenly is your business off limits? This is like the whole fucking foundation of my friendship with you yeah that's why know, we have but, you on run button because you say wild shit about your life i know nobody but my wants money buttoned money. up courtney <laughs> <laughs> yes well i like to keep I, I don't know it just makes me feel weird that people know my money business i guess that's true courtney courtney has always been really skittish about i guess be, specifically about money stuff in general like Courtney didn't get a debit card for years and years because she was afraid of banks and she would just buy prepaid Visa gift cards all the time. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. Yeah. Which, I mean, you're not wrong. It's, I mean, yeah, fuck banks. Although that money is still going to a bank. It, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. Yes, but it's not like, it's not attached to like, what if someone hacks my credit card and they get all my money? That, what if they hack your Visa gift card? They can't because it'll only have like about like well, twenty dollars on a Visa y- gift card. You know what, Courtney? I just had my my bank account got hacked like a month ago. <gasps> you know what happens is like happens? you just you just call up and you go, yeah, somebody just bought like six hundred dollars worth of shoes in Memphis, and I'm definitely not in Memphis, and I I don't buy six hundred dollars worth of shoes, and they just go, all right, here's your money back. Yeah, but I don't want that in my life. Well, I mean, that was the first time it had ever happened to me in, like, you know, 15 years or something. Yeah, but I don't know. Money's scary, and I don't want to do it. And yeah, I oh, like no. I, <laughs> I don't want to do it. it. Yeah, no, I fully <laughs> empathize with the feeling of not wanting to do it. That's my, that's my, like, n- okay. my natural state. You guys, I heard that the fire station was really fucked up. And shitty. Man, Should I we go to the fire station? This. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Wait, can we? I meant, I never got an answer on this. Why did you guys wait? Did you guys really wait for me? Yeah, yeah we, we just, were waiting we for just, you like, talk, We just talked about Courtney's list that of topics. That was not what I wanted at all. Well, you said you'll uh, be back in a minute. And then after a couple minutes, we, I was I like, s- well, we can't stop now. I said a few minutes, actually. Well, after a few no, minutes, we I was like, listen. we can't stop now. I'm talking to the fireman, I guess. Please excuse the mess. I... They've done one Guys... with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. And also, it's just, oh, I think I, that I, I, what? I think the fire station might be a gay joke. Why? No. Oh. I'm pretty just because of the way that guy was talking. Oh, oh, he had like a lisp or something. Oh, and now they're painting. No, oh, yeah, nothing gay happening yeah, in here. No, no, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> Examine well, the dogs. This looks normal to me. I don't converse on the job, Steve. You know they weren't that progressive in the in the nineties. I think no. just recently, Welcome recently the people have been starting to. Uh, look they call at it the House of Flame, flame is what they call it. Want to get the oh, oh, great! Oh wow! Great. I don't remember this. Huh? Oh God! What's gonna happen? He shoots through a stake to the Dalmatian. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, oh, Steve! Bet you don't remember. So good, I love it. Heard about that short. This, I just want to make it clear to you, Kyle and Courtney, how offensive the voices of these firemen are. Oh, I don't we need remember a reenactment, this part. please. Oh, you don't, Courtney? Uh, no. You know Why what? are you sketching nude men in my fire department? 
<laughs> what is that gay or is that just a hobby? Oh, okay. Oh, goddamn it. Well, That's it's actually, obviously not a hobby because that is aw really awful. <laughs> well, I was gonna say it, it definitely is a oh, hobby. Sorry. Because it's bad. So I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one. Okay, this Please, is I need you. I need you to approximate these voices for me. I can't hear them. I am not going to do these voices. I promise. You. Oh come on! I it's... forgot how. Pro okay, uh, everyone. I forgot this game was problematic. Uh, highly props, but I N didn't uh, remember uh, that. Uh, uh, I'm gonna ask about the wasp woman. Some people think all we do is sit around. Yeah. Catching, catching a we're gonna go, we're gonna go find a wasp woman, and she's just gonna literally be a wasp, right? I hope so. Uh, that would be to fun. hope so. I don't remember the ending of the game. And Courtney, you don't have to apologize for this game being problematic because from moment one, nothing could have been more apparent than this game was, had serious problems. <laughs> well, all great the artists problematic. I mean, the biggest problem is, the biggest problem is that these gay men are painting a naked other man and also are pretending that it's not gay to do that. Oh, dread. Is it gay? I don't think that's gay. Uh, well, the like writers of the the right okay, the writers of this game for sure think it's gay. I'll, yeah, I promise. That's, you. Oh, oh, that's okay, the point. I see. You. Okay. Okay, I see where you're going. Okay. Oh, I'm just noticing now how bad these guys are at pretending to paint. Holy shit! Yeah, not good. If you could get into that safe in his wall, forget it. Look, Steve, as far as I know, the fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. Now don't you go moving. Nice. They told him not to go moving. A dreadful affair. Is that cardboard cutout? No, no, that's a, that's a person. Could go up that okay. Oh, please. Dwayne was... Oh, I, I asked about that already. My bad. Bye bye. Don't bother me. I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me. Oh, this one's even worse. <laughs> Ugh. That was really bad. Can we talk That's... to the dog? No, the dog just says that he's hung... he's just like he wants more meat. Well, How I much don't do we want about this whole this Nothing's whole wrong. I, thing. I think these police people are all right. They have a nice police, I mean, uh, fire building. The truck is pink. They seem nice. The truck is pink. Oh my god. I just thought it was poorly rendered. Yeah, I was. Oh. I, I noticed that it was pink before you went in, but I just yeah. assumed it was poorly colored. I wonder if it'll let me into the building now. Ooh, this looks bad. Yeah, this is the fire building that burned down, or the uh, the newspaper building that burned down. I need to find a way to convince um, the postmaster to. So the only way to get into the lodge is to get an application from the postmaster. The postmaster says that they're out, and he only makes copies once a month, and he won't make another copy because he only does it once a month. And we have. Okay, to well let's have go principles. beat him up. Wait, Keith, I just realized the problem with that plan, though. Yeah. Is the postmasters don't exist. They do exist. They do it in this game. They do. I'm gonna punch this cop. No, Fuck I mean in real life cop. they do. Yeah, right up his right on right on his back. His, his gooch area. Are you close? Can you uppercut? It looks like you're I like try. just dabbing on him, best. doing some nay nays on him. All right, we're it's a pass. It's over. It's past eleven. Past eleven. Uh, well, we got We should talk to the deputy and the sheriff. Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne, and this here is Loomis. Play. Are you talking to them? Yeah. The words on the top. They come up whenever I'm talking to anybody. <laughs> I don't appreciate that tone. <laughs> I don't appreciate you still not knowing when the words are there. <laughs> not the start of some insanity, please. Keep your nose clean. Or you'll wind up in jail and Courtney really came looking for a fight today, I feel like. I'm yeah. always looking for fights. Everybody that I talk to is really uh incredulous about my amnesia, and it's like, I get it, but people do get amnesia. You can't just go threatening to arrest people for saying they have amnesia. 
What? <laughs> People that you don't get amnesia. Heart with all this amnesia bunk. I'm telling you the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you've always been a kidder, Steve. Yeah, so everybody keeps telling me. Boy, you need to stop all this funning and get serious. You've got a wedding coming up soon. Heck, you should be thinking about your career and about joining the Lodge. Is amnesia just a white people's problem? I don't mind telling I you. think so, yeah. I'd never get anything I don't done. know, probably. Er, well, I never seen people get amnesia in real life. It's the highest dream of everyone in Harvest. Like I said, now we firmly establish that white people don't exist in Courtney's real life. How dare they do exist? Yeah, Kyle, how dare you? White people are real. That, that, that's, I mean, okay. First of all, y'all guys stop y'all joking that I don't like white people. They're my I've never made now. that joke. I you guys, like you guys, listen, this shouldn't be news to you. You guys know that I'm a Caucasian denier. <laughs> Listen, I have to have a better image now. I have my own company now, my own business, selling to white people. You're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. She don't. Oh, this guy's a creep. What are you guys selling lech, to you guys. Oh boy, is he? He's an etchy. He's an yeah. A what? <laughs> Courtney. You out on me? Yeah. We're like, what do you mean, what? Like that was for you. Oh. And it came out of those white lips. Should we ask this guy about a man's needs? <laughs> no, thank you. Men, men don't have needs. Uh, you sure ought to appreciate what a man's got to do sometimes in a parked car or... Oh, this guy's talking about jerking off in public. Okay. will sell at noon. Matter of fact. Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French um, Wait, so are these lines fully voiced? Yes, fully yeah. voiced, yeah. Jeez. Bring them around with the share. Yeah, four CDs. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, was it really four CDs? No, I have no idea. Oh, it's like okay. six CDs, I think. It was. A I mean, these were voice acted CDs in the 90s, so you know that had Well, yeah, I mean, it was either four CDs or 128 floppies, so. <laughs> How do I leave this place? So I think I have to go buy some Don't porn work. postcards from the. from the. Nice. General store. Nice. Uh, nice. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, nice uh, uh, horrible. <laughs> Hey, Courtney, <laughs> you got us a good game to play. Horrible. I You're regret it. Out. I, thought, I thought this was art. Now I'm seeing I made a terrible that mistake. That old lady wants the D. Examine adult magazine. <laughs> okay. Man, look at that Can fucking magazine the, cover. The poison? Like, I don't. Oh, it's that. I was like, "How do I get away from here?" And it's you have to hit the exit sign that's above the door. Yes, please. Let me buy something. Do you think the people that made this game ever took the hints from the social ostracism that they experienced for making games like this? No, they probably had a long, lustrous career doing horrible things to gaming. Yeah, there's probably like everybody that worked on this game probably like is in charge of AAA development I don't... now. <laughs> And like yeah. Naughty Dog. Oh boy, that yeah, that's yeah, Naughty Dog. Oh, that was even more apt than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. I don't know how to pay. It says that I have to pay before I buy anything. Whatever you want. But then she's just like, point to whatever you want, and then I go in here and I point. I want this porn, and then she says, you have to pay Phelps first. How do I buy your porn, Mrs. Phelps? <laughs> 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 the people want to <laughs> shop. <laughs> Tell us how to pay for your porn. Why are oh, you wait, closed? What? Why? Tell us why. Wait, you see that in the background? There's like a, a, a cowboy. <laughs> What's that cowboy? Like, can you click yeah, him? Does cowboy? he pay? That's Cowboy Joe. Okay, no, what about the cash OTV. register? Click the cash register and, and take the money out GTA style. Punch the cash cash register. Are you punching it? I'm trying. Oh, so Keith. Yeah. 
I don't know if you heard this. I think this might have been right before you came on stream. <coughs> but, oh, operate. Wait, did I do it? No. You good, bro? Oh, is it because I don't have... Is it that I don't have... Um, I don't even know how to check my... No, I don't have any money. Look at that picture. Oh, no, wait, it's a no, good it says, picture. It says up here, 25 cents. Does that mean I have 25 cents? I guess so. Who could fucking say? That should buy us, like, at least a, a yard of land and a house in, like, the 60s. Maybe I've got to get newspapers job? for Jimmy. Maybe that's what I do. Talk to that person sweeping the street. Maybe they got money. No, he won't talk to me. Do you guys know after World War II, the U.S. had, like, over 50% of the entire world's supply of gold from all the for money what? that it, it made? Well, actually, goods. after the... Yeah, yeah. that it Not just gold, but ha more than half the world's wealth in general. It wasn't until well, that's, uh, yeah, because all the all the world's wealth was right. on the gold standard, so that's why they had all the gold. Yeah, mm. um, it wasn't until um, it wasn't until China became uh, uh, it started calling itself communist that we they started making enough money to take some of that away from the U.S. So are you telling us we got to be communist? I mean, I am, but not China communist, real communist. Um, I don't know. It's called uh, that the event of yeah. The he wants States to like, losing... live on a farm and like not wear clothes and not ever shower. Uh, uh, like, that's horrible. Yeah. That's what all men want to do. Kyle, I'm just trying that's to talk about the loss, right. the, lo so the, loss the loss of China. The loss, the loss of China. The loss of China. Yeah. Well, you get well. Listen, you were talking about the gold thing. Yeah. All right, what, 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 tell us about the loss of China. Oh, I was just going to say that was the event that participated, uh, uh, precipitated the United States losing uh, more than half of the world's wealth was China becoming a, a red country. A red state. A red state? Like, I think Kevin Smith made a movie about China once. No, it was about, like, hobos doing stuff. Courtney? Uh, well, yes. I'm joking. Oh, I cannot tell. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Turn this meat man. Oh, it's a cat. Ooh, oh, give the, the cat. Give the cat. cat. Give the cat some meat. I can't look at any of the cats. The cats are not interesting enough. <sighs> Steve. Sure, the Dalmatian got full FMV. About the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call this guy looks so familiar. What, you mean like a fat Elvis? This is a fine kettle of fish, I must I don't say. know. Oh, I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Oh, that's why you remember him. He's Pat O'Reilly. Who's that? Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. What? Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were such a He called himself Steve. Pat O'Reilly. Funny how that's beginning to sound oh. like a stock answer. Like it was coached. You sure are acting like it. Pat O'Reilly just sounds exactly like the name of somebody from Fox News. So I'm like, oh, is someone saying that this guy is like looks identical to someone yeah. on Fox News? I, uh, so I don't know if you heard, but uh, everybody keeps saying, hey, you don't have amnesia because you're such a kidder. And now it's us. We're going like, this is starting to sound suspicious that everybody keeps calling me a kidder. So, like that's our real name? Exactly is wrong with your dad. No, like no, no. they're pretending get in to, see him. to think that we don't have amnesia and they know that we actually don't or do. Uh, uh, what exactly is I don't You may have a, oh, a lot of time. Okay. I I, I skipped past it. By golly, you Okay, people are saying the cats are dying uh or we can't see it in these horrible like uh, these these I don't know. It looks everything looks all blurry and mushy in the oh, screen, I, so I can't well, yeah. tell if the cats are dying. Someone stop it! I want. I need to talk. I want to see that. I accidentally skipped some of the cutscenes. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around. Are the cats dying in this? I can't <laughs> see. Matter. The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And notice the cat on the corner. Only I hope you know, like, I'm looking into this Skype, and, like, it looks like, it looks like mush. Everything looks like mush. You don't realize the importance of maintaining quality while... Uh, uh... 
If we didn't, would the Lodge use us to cater their affairs? Hmm. Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. The Lodge. The Order of the Harvest Moon sponsors a weenie roast on the Lodge grounds every summer, which we cater. Though they tend to get their meat elsewhere the rest of the year. I wonder why. Heck, the best way to find out is to sign up with you them. You guys having fun They're yet? Great organization, Steve. They I'm very confused. Oh, Kyle's gone. Oh, well. They do Why is Kyle gone? I don't know. Wait, no, is he gone? Then how do they support Kyle, themselves? are you gone? Membership dues? From what I hear, the work... Okay, now we can have some real talk. Kyle. What is up? Maybe he texted me being like, I'm gone. Kyle, you're a big baby. Acting like he has to sleep. Is that what he's doing? Is he acting like he has to sleep? Yeah. Does he have a job? Yeah, he has a job. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know people You didn't have text jobs. me. Did you just leave? That doesn't sound Maybe like him. Maybe his computer him. shut down. I'm gonna call him. I'll try and I'll try and get him get him on the mm. Hey. Kyle, you're live on the air. Oh hey, what's up? Internet. Hey, where where'd you go? Uh, my power went out for a second. Uh, oh. Oh, you're you're breaking up probably because you're in your basement, but your power went out, you said? Guys, I'm worried that Kyle got stuck at Harvester World and he's being eaten while he's talking to us because I can't oh, understand no. him. No, God. Okay, it's just bad connection then. Is he in a storm? Oh, well, I lost I lost connection with Kyle, I think. Yeah, it's actually raining really, really strongly around here. Uh, oh. I'm going to call it, and we'll find out if Kyle got eaten by a monster next time on... Run button, run button, the show you love. Um, this was a horrible first episode. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it was fine, I think. Because on, on our end, we get to hear the voices. Um, mm. But uh, so, you know, you can, you know, all the normal places. You can find Kyle at 19 Letters Long. You can find the show at Run Button. You can find me at Keith J. Carberry. You can find the uh, the Patreon at contentburger.biz. Um you should listen to Friends of the Table if you haven't. Uh, my other podcast uh, that I do. Um, and uh, Courtney, you're at Robo Coco, right? Is that where you're at? Where you're at? Uh, I'm changing my whole persona, so no, I'm not at Robo Coco anymore. You're changing All your whole need persona? To... What do you mean? Uh, uh, well, because that's the point, is that I'm making my own business. I have my own business now on Etsy. If y'all want to buy from me... It's, uh, crap, I don't know my Etsy name. Shit. Anyway, I have a store on Etsy that I'm making a living off of. It's, a uh, Apocalypse, but I spell it weird, so... Hey, hold on. Planned. It says what? right here, Robococo. I can see it. No, At shut the fuck up. Stop it. That's where I talk shit about all my Etsy customers. Please stop. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to be a better person. You're not okay. helping me. Okay, Courtney, plug your stuff. Okay. Uh, hold on a crap. Hold on. I had to open my Etsy. Oh, God. Hold on. I don't know my Etsy name. Everyone, I, I do not go by RoboCoco anymore. I'm a good person. I, I do good stuff. Uh, if you want to order stuff from my shop, it's called... Uh, crap, crap. I'm not prepared. Uh, crap, what the hell? Oh. Uh, crap, I don't know what it is. How do you not know? Just go to Etsy.com and then click your profile page. Oh, hold on. Let's see, shop manager. 
We'll get oh, there. Oh, I'm on vacation. So you, you're uh, on vacation, so you won't tell. No, what it's your just name this. Is? No, I'm really dumb. Oh God. Hold on. What do you, what do you fucking, sell? What does what I sort of shit do you sell? Pops. I sell overpriced Funko Pops. I make custom Funko Pops, and people <laughs> buy them for like ninety to two hundred dollars. Okay, that's a lot of money. Yeah. How? Uh, let's see. Are you Dragonfly Mary? No. Are you? That's... Do you have a? Did you make a Joker one? No. Did you make Cohen no. from Bioshock? No. Did you make, uh... Are you creative oh, okay, custom pops? It. Are you nerd no. midtage? Are you no. seaside fairy tales? No. Are you cake pop Guys. custom? No, I found it. This is it. Guys. Yes, hello, Pot. Yeah. I'm, I'm reaching to you from across the zones. <laughs> This is Great my shop, plan. everyone. Did this you workshop that while their power was coming back on? <laughs> <laughs> you run a spec no, script actually, for that, that one? That actually, uh, it might shock you, but that one actually came straight off the dome. Wow. Uh, Courtney's been trying to figure out her Etsy name for five minutes. So oh, guys, can, can I talk to you about my Etsy name? Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. My, I made my Etsy name. I have my Etsy shop where I... I sell my custom game cartridges. I called it Kyle's Carts. Yeah. Uh, and I just kind of, I just picked it because it just seemed like, it seemed like a name. And I was like, ah, I'm pretty sure I can change this later. You can't change it later. Crap, because <laughs> no, I'm starting to learn this it. is a bad idea how I named my shop. How, do how, do you, how can you I... not find the name? I just posted it in the chat. How do you pronounce it? Are you asking us how to pronounce your what? Etsy name? Yeah, because I mean, I sounded it out as Apocalypse, but I could a be pop sounding cute, it out. A pop cute lips. A yeah. pop cute lips. Yeah, that's what it wow, is. Wow, that's. A pop cute lips. Kyle, at least. That's rough. At least you didn't get stuck <laughs> with a pop cute lips. I noticed I have made a huge mistake because that's how I get all my rent for the month. Oh, Oops. God. I'm Listen. making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> well, you can always just make a new Etsy shop. Like you can, yeah. like you with one Etsy account, you can make multiple shops. Hmm. Um, but I mean, I guess you have to start over in terms of like ratings, probably and stuff. And now, like did you idea. mean? Because did you mean for it to be lips like the lips on your face, and not lips like, like? Uh, L Y P S E, like apocalypse. I did, but I don't know how to spell that. So I would, I would recommend this. I'll write it in the chat. All right, uh, apocute lips is what I would have. Well, it's a, oh, it's sorry. apocalypse. No, because it's cute is in there. Yeah, but how yeah. would you? How would you know? A pop cute how lips. Would you, how would you know how to spell lips with a Y? Because that's how you spell apocalypse. Yeah. First of all, and you I, know I never learned how to spell. I know, but there's a whole thing where you can figure out, like, even before the internet, they had dictionaries. Like, they've had dictionaries for yeah. hundreds and hundreds of they years. Thousands of years. I, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to check the spelling on Demagogue earlier today, and I found the cute little thing that on Google if you search demagogue it has the definition with a picture of Donald Trump next to it. Huh. huh. I'm like, oh that's, that's cute. Oh I don't I didn't get that. I don't have that. It's like from gymnastics Gionoski the giant it's J G E O N S Nas Gymnastics. How do you pronounce that? What are you saying? What are you talking that's about? That's what demagogue is from, right? Dem demagogue is a term. Yeah, it's word. from gymnastics. Or, how do you pronounce it? Gymnastics. Uh, what are you talking? I'm trying to say talking, with Hold on. Are you gymnastics? Talking about are you talking about Gnosticism? Yes, a Gnosticism. Well, I, I don't know. 
Um, I don't even know what Gnosticism is. Gnosticism is like from. is like knowing knowing stuff. Oh, like, okay. Time. I think a lot. I think it's like knowing like magic what? stuff. Some. No, the demiurge what? is like what from Geonosics. I can't this read. Is, oh God! Honestly, this is the most fun blogs. part of the stream. This, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's happening right now. Mm. Um, just spell it. Spell it. Not. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's you had it. What Gnostic. Is, what? Gnostic. G o n o. That's the word. Listen. Listen. Sh Gnostic. Oh. You hear it? Gnostic. Oh wait, no. no. You guys can't hear it. It's yeah, Gnostic is what you wrote. That's what Kyle said, and that's yes. just like knowing stuff. It, he, it says relating to knowledge, especially es esoteric, mystical knowledge. Yeah, and demi but that has nothing to do with dem like no demagogue esoteric, is esoteric, mystical knowledge. Uh, a demagogue is. It says the the dictionary definition is a political leader who seeks support by appealing to popular desires and prejudices rather than by using rational argument. Yep. Uh, it has nothing to do with Gnosticism. Yeah, but it. So when I searched, when I Googled demagogue, it had that exact definition on there, but then there was a picture of Donald Trump looking no, really I didn't smug get that. next to it. Huh. I didn't get that on mine. That's weird. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I, guess they've, I guess they've determined that I like Donald Trump less than you do or something. They haven't figured that out from you, so they're not serving it to you yet. They're not sure. What if I if hold on? Let me let me Google like Trump sucks and like <laughs> like Trump, and then and then go back and try it again. Google like Trump, Russia, Putin, and then I Google <laughs> like hashtag the resistance, and now mm -hmm. if I Google demagogue. Holy shit! It's there. Really? Uh, no, it's not there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like my really funny uh, three Google searches about Trump, though? I think that they're funny. Yeah. Trump, Russia, Putin, I think is a funny thing to Google. Mm. I'll, also, yep. I do have some information about the resistance, but we'll have to wait on that. What does the that resistance? mean? Why do you have info uh, on like the against, resistance? Against the lizard people? The LPs? Uh, how dare you, Kyle? It's not just the lizard people. Yeah, it's also the <laughs> mole men. <laughs> well, uh, the, the you don't have to worry the... about the mole men, obviously. I mean, I'm going to put y'all in your mole men ca camp sooner or later, but not... Oh, I thought Actually, we were exempt so... from the mole men. I, yeah, you're, well, hey, I mean... you're three... No, this is Courtney 3.0. You're tied some Courtney 2.0 shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I have softened on my stance about putting men in underground camps. Maybe. Okay. Oh, you've softened on that position? <laughs> yeah, just a little. Yeah, now they're above ground camps. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. You know, Here's what I don't like about... We just realized it would be way more expensive to dig all those tunnels. <laughs> Here's what I don't like about Courtney. I feel like Courtney forces me to say... Courtney, you can't just put men in prison camps, which is something that I believe, but I don't want to have to say. No, no, I'm not saying we don't have to put them in prison camps. I'm just saying, like, like we just have to, like, guys, like I've been saying, we need to socially shame men and socially shame people into working the right way. So, you know, like, we don't have to put them in underground prisons. We just have to change just a lot of stuff them. to make... We just have to change the world that we're in now to make it a better world in the future. But I haven't figured that out other than violence and bullying. But I mean, <laughs> I can figure out a better way. Here's the thing. The problem, Courtney, with all of your world-changing theories isn't that you want to use violence and bullying. It's that you want to use violence and bullying indiscriminately. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean indiscriminately? Um, yeah, without no. without stopping to think about who you're doing it to. Courtney, no, you no, need no. to use I, I, you need to have like really strategic reserved bullying, like mm -hmm. the, like the the U.S. government uses. Yeah, yeah. No, like no. I I think no. I th I've been thinking about it, and I've been thinking about ways to refine my bullying into helping other people. Because I mean, that's all like a business is is refined bullying. 
into marketing. So like if I market things yeah. to make people feel bad, that'll make them feel better when they change. Hold on. I need you I need you to back out. I was with you for a little bit. I was with you when you said that all Courtney, a you're business already level is is a bully. I do mm-hmm. like that idea. Now what's at what's the part after that? You want she's to say a bully business. She, she's basically saying like what if I sell them poison so that I make money when they get better? No, no, like, no, no, Sell them no. poison and the thing that gets them better? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, what if we sell a lifestyle to people to make them a better person? Yeah. That's what my, all marketing is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, the, but, the, but it's, not, it's not true. It's, not, it's all a trick. Yeah, I know. Everything's a trick. Nothing is real in this reality. We just got to make it to what we want it to Hold be. Hold on. Because nothing is real. Like, I just well. feel like... I feel like, Courtney... I, Courtney, I feel like you have, like... It's it's always... She, you're like an on-off switch. Okay. And you, okay, need, no, you need a dimmer. Keith, you need a dimmer. On. Keith, Keith. Yeah. You know when you're playing, like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3? And yes. you would put in a like a cheat code to get max stats on a skater yeah uh but but then it would like it would fuck up the game because they would jump too high and be too fast and you couldn't play the game right anymore that's like that's every opinion courtney has (laughs) she goes from zero straight to like the guy who's going too far off the half yeah yeah it's yeah it's the you use the moon code now you're bouncing off of the ceiling when you're just trying to do a kickflip yeah it's uh yeah well here's the thing dario says business is refined bullying and then caitlin says that is a really tremendous quote but the problem with courtney is that courtney's like yeah business is refined bullying and that's what I want to do. <laughs> right. I mean, that's literally all my job, other than the Funko Pop and my like uh, beautician license, and where I have to, which, which really, when I do the beautician stuff, that the, the doing my beautician's license has been the worst fucking thing ever because it makes me feel horrible. Because half the job is you gotta bully people into feeling like they're ugly. I'm like, oh my god, this is like a horrible job to go into yeah. if you ever want to like yep. think about things. Well, then why do you want to yeah. do it, a business? Because it makes uh, yeah. a lot of money. I just, I just love, <laughs> I love it. She's like, yeah, all businesses are bullies. So I'm working on my bullying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I just, I feel like, uh, Courtney, I just feel like you're trying to tear down the master's house with the master's tools, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. Is like, if I do learn how to become a good business person and use my business for good, even if I have to step on some people, it'd be good in the long run because I'm using my but, master's tools but hold for on. good reason. No, but that's see, but then then you're just the business. No, but I'm gonna be the no, good one. No, there isn't the good one. There's no. not a good one. Courtney, there isn't Courtney, a good version gonna, of it. Courtney, you're just gonna be you're end up you're gonna end up being the pigs at the end of Animal Farm that you couldn't distinguish from the farmers anymore. Yeah, I mean, you're, that's just, what I've been you're just gonna get in there and replace people with the same thing they're doing, man. That's yeah. actually one thing I've been worrying about because when I was thinking about expanding my Etsy business into clothing again, and like I was thinking, like a lot of my clothing and like ordering it from China and stuff, I used to hate my boss for doing this, and then when I started doing, it, I was like, oh crap, I'm turning into like I'm just turning into the same system that I hated yeah. when I did it for someone else. Yeah, what see, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to say is you can't just be like. I'm gonna be a business, but a good business. It that's not how you just end up being a bit. You just be a regular business. Yeah. Like a lot yeah, of a lot of thinking... horrible companies started with people being like, "I'm gonna be the good business," and then now they're Amazon, right? Yeah, but I mean, like, what if I could? Because I mean, like, I don't have to make a lot of money because, like, Kyle's trying to put my business out. I am rich, but what if, like. I can make a loss, but not too much of a loss, but like a little Courtney, bit of a you're loss. You're saying that you want to make a business big. that loses money. No, then, just like a Courtney, little Courtney, to like help people. I, there's a movie that I need you to go watch. What? That's DreamWorks animated picture, Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. Oh man, that movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Even, you yeah, the book is better. You mean. need to, you really need to hear the musical number from The Onesler. Where yeah, he's I, he's I he's just like saying, I'm... "Hey, man, I'm just trying to get mine." You know, like it's not. 
I'm not hurting anything too holy bad, shit. but Courtney, then like holy shit, there's somewhere. no more trees. Yeah, but like, what if I can just do better? But I don't, what I don't try. see. There's no, no ethical consumption under capitalism. That doesn't apply here, I don't think. Are you sure there's like not even I'm, like a topic? No, but see, but listen to this concept I have because I think this is actually going to be a concept that helps people in the long run. Okay, what is it? What's your concept? Okay, I was thinking. Do not that steal. We mark, I mean, maybe you could steal because like I really want this concept to work. So like, I was thinking like yeah, you know, men are gross and ugly and like they're not really yeah. cool. So I was thinking, like, what if we turn the beauty industry into something that makes men feel bad, like they need to be prettier for women? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a great way to improve. The like, this is just corny. This is just the same shit you always do. Where it's I like, know. This there's, is classic. There's an, it's classic corny where it's like, I feel an injustice. And what I want to do is turn that injustice into two injustices. <laughs> no, no. Because I, I was thinking, preserve, like, men. I want to no, preserve no. The, the current status. But then also make it worse for other people. No, 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 no. Because listen to this. I was thinking like men don't feel the same pressures as women, yeah. and that makes everyone then, feel bad. But, but if why, men but, felt the pressure, they wouldn't make women feel bad anymore. And then women would be like, "Well, we know how it is to feel bad, so we won't make the men feel bad anymore." But then why not? But why would you not just start from the position of like, don't make women feel bad? Yeah, well, and then you'd save the you'd save the time of ha for changing the world to hit, to like make men feel bad and women feel bad, and then removing the whole thing. I feel like you're creating extra. Also, steps, that's that, and all the extra steps are mean. That is like a Yu-Gi-Oh level <laughs> of like next step, like impossible next step planning <laughs> to go from those things, though, like. <laughs> from turning the beauty industry around on men somehow, and then, and then well, I just been thinking, turning like, that into are... everybody learning to understand each other better. Yeah, well, I just, well, also, this is also for me, because I think men are just kind of too ugly to be around. And I'm just saying, like, men could that's, just dress No, better. that's actually here's true. Here's that's actually 100% true. Better. Here's the other thing, is that Courtney always, the other part of Courtney's plans is that Courtney always wants to try and improve something, but <laughs> Courtney, you're mean, so all your ideas for improving things are just tearing people yeah, down. Yeah, really it's is. Like, there's, I wanted like, the there's vanity and bullying baked into all of the things <laughs> you want to change about the world. I'm just saying, I just want men to look a little bit prettier, and then maybe they would feel better, and then they would feel, and it'd make me feel better, because I wouldn't have to look at them. That's insane. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so great. And then this is the, like, it's just. It's just I'm just saying. An I absolutely, an absolutely, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> meritless idea. <laughs> there's I'm just not, saying. There's, I've gone. There's like a I'm single saying, worthwhile saying, element to this whole plan. <laughs> no, it is a single worthwhile plan because how many of you nerds, y'all just wear your ugly cartoon shirts and your ugly cargo jean pants. How Whoa. come y'all just don't wear nice clothes and like, you know, like actually put lotion on? Also, I want to make a business okay. where white people use lotion because white people hate lotion. And I really think y'all should Hold use on. lotion. I do fucking hate lotion. I hate, I hate lotion. See? Why do white people so hate lotion? White people need to get more lotion. Slimy and shit, it's really sucks. been bothering me. I don't want to cover myself in a goop. I don't want to. I get it. <laughs> I get why uh, I should, but I don't like white, it. That's why all y'all are white, because y'all are so damn ashy. Y'all need to wear lotion, wear nice clothes, and, like, not look so ugly for me. So then I could, like, <laughs> actually look at men. Because <laughs> then I go outside, all men are just ugly, and they wear ugly clothes. Maybe, and I'm maybe noticing, have you just you thought that maybe you're just her. not attracted to men? No, I mean, I was thinking yeah, that for a while, that. and then yeah. I asked Boris if he thought I was not attracted to men. He's like, well, no, you're probably attracted to men, but I just what? think no. men Wait, why do you have to ask someone else? You talk, and like, you can't the fuck ask with this someone Boris else about it. what you like. <laughs> this is this is the no, thing you go, to, like you, you go to other people for answers too much. You're, yeah, I mean, I like men, it's just... You just men have to realize they're not attractive. 
They don't put as oh no no no. I mean no, men don't put as much work hey, into themselves men, to make themselves look attractive. All I'm yeah, saying but, is that I'm a tra- if a single if a single man would put any effort in, I would be attracted to that one guy. But none of them have yet, so I hate all of them. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you that a lot of men are gross and don't put any effort in, but yeah. I think the idea the idea that like all men are disgusting and so you want to create an industry to oppress them. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And into being more attractive for you. No, this would be for I the world because I mean I feel like men are such world. weird. A lot of people no, 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 don't have a this, problem being this. attracted listen to men. Listen to this: all men are just savages who want to sit around <laughs> naked in their own house <laughs> and play video games and eat badly. <laughs> Cor- and I mean, Courtney, most men want to do that. Courtney. No, men would feel better if they acted I, more feminine Courtney. and you know didn't sit naked on the couch. Courtney. Yes. With. Listen, I, I love really you. resent. I really I love you, you but you've only man. ever had you you've had like the same boyfriend at two different times in your life and maybe you fucking hate your boyfriend and he sucks and you need a new boyfriend. <laughs> well no, it's not that he sits naked. I'm just saying most men all they want to do is just sit around naked and not put any care and time and look pretty for themselves. But that's not true of every guy, just some Yeah, guys. but when I go outside, most men aren't attractive to my eye and it hurts me. Uh-huh. So I, just, I, can't yeah, I, just, them. I just feel I just I just keep coming back to the same spot where it's like Cor- Courtney's being like I recognize that there's all this pressure on me to be attractive for men and that <laughs> pressure doesn't exist for men to be attractive to me and I want to make that the case. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, yeah, just, it's, the- it's, it's yes, yeah, you're agreeing with like that's that's the thing is that you can't just you you can't just you can't just create a system where people are oppressed, and uh, even though that's already the case, you can't, like, you can't just you can't just double up on the bad shit. You've got like Courtney. Have you ever heard the expression two wrongs don't make a right"? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, have we tried it? Yeah, and sometimes it doesn't work out. I, all I'm saying is, how about everybody just fucking does what they want, and we dismantle the system that makes. Uh, women feel like they have to do certain things to make themselves look good uh, instead of creating a second system where men also have to do uh, that. Yeah, Courtney, have you just considered that instead we smash the patriarchy? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. But I say we smash it by making them feel bad. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Because I just thinking, because I was thinking, we smash the patriarchy, we give women more pay, so we can turn all men into house husbands, and they never have to leave the house, and all men have to but learn how to cook. But you were just complaining yeah, about that. that. You just said you just said men all just they just want to sit naked and never leave the house, and now you're like, yeah, wanna- they want to sit naked and not clean the house, clean so- the house, and cook dinner for me. <laughs> yeah, no, Courtney, you just want to be a despot. That's the whole thing. All of <laughs> exactly. it is just like. You want to be a, well, well, a demagogue. <laughs> it, it, it basically, it you want means to be a like Gnostic. a dictator, basically. <laughs> um, you, yeah, I mean, it's like you know, you just you're just like the world is so unfair. So I want to twist it to be unfair for in my favor. Yes. Yeah. Is that wrong? Yeah, that's yes. super wrong. Yes, yeah. it is li- literally instead wrong. Striving, instead of striving for the unfairness to be stacked in your favor, you should strive for it to just not be unfair. Hmm. Oh, she's considering it. Yeah, Courtney, this is, this is so like sometimes when we talk to my daughter who's two and a half, you have to try to explain <laughs> why things are wrong. Like, like uh, <laughs> I mean, like I we'll, see where it like could we'll be wrong. Say, hey, Amelia Rose, if Lucas took your toy without asking, you would feel sad. So when you take. Lucas's toy without asking it makes Lucas feel sad so like Courtney when things are bad to you Mm -hmm. you shouldn't do it to other people because you should remember oh it made me feel bad therefore ergo too it will make Mm -hmm. them feel bad and that's not a good thing and so Mm -hmm. instead it should be that nobody feels bad that's a good point 
But what if they still don't feel good? I mean, they still feel bad, even well, though I'm trying to make them feel good. Y- well, yeah, I mean, biologically, humans are literally incapable of actually being happy. So no one will ever be happy. But you could try. But what if you can make only one person happy, and that's me? But that's you won't be happy. Though. You won't be that's- happy. That's the thing. Okay. It's called the it's called the hedonic treadmill. It basically means that no matter how good or bad things get in your life, you'll always just kind of return to like an even keel. Hmm. So, if you get a billion dollars tomorrow, then you're just going to have billion dollar Courtney problems that bother you just as much. Hmm. It's That's the reverse point. the reverse principle of that is like like uh like you ever see uh like a kid like popping a balloon and the kid's crying and then like some shitty dad is like, shut up or I'll give you st- something to cry about. It's like, well, you? in a little kid's world, popping a balloon is like a traumatic is, event. Is it's like the same thing as if someone it. like took that man's wallet. And like for all of us, we understand how valuable and important our wallets are. But to that little kid, his entire world is wrapped up in the balloon that he had. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's sad. Adults don't take I, the problems of children seriously, but that's I don't know how that applied. Point. I feel like that's oh, it's like... because your 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 entire realm of emotions is situated around your perception of reality, and if your perception of reality is that this fucking little balloon that you have is super important, and then it pops, it's the same thing as if you lost your entire right. wallet, and it's the same thing as if you had a billion fucking dollars and you didn't have actually anything to worry about, but then like your neighbor building a fence near too close to your house <laughs> is all of a sudden a big fucking deal and you've got to go like do some shit like steal his lawnmower or something i don't know what rich people do hmm. so, okay, <laughs> even if i like try and force men to conform to my reality it would still never be enough that's correct yeah you'll always want hmm. more hmm. Well, I guess we just kill the whole world then. Uh, just yep. shut it down. Yep, shut you it down. nailed it. Okay, well, I guess I yeah, learned everything. I, that's, you know what? We should shut it down. Okay.